Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel, Affiliate Marketing Mastery, where you can learn to earn a passive income guilt-free. And today we're gonna learn about keyword searches or search engine optimization, why it's important, what is it, and what tools you can use. There are a lot of different programs out there. That's why you're, uh, you did a Google search looking for something. And I'm gonna show you four different ways that I search for keywords and you know, you can take them or not. Um, one of the tools that I really like is called Keywords Everywhere. You can see it right here up on the screen. And if you just uh, type it in, you'll come to the screen and you're gonna install it. It's a Chrome extension. And I didn't understand what those were at first, but basically it just puts it right into your Chrome website or your Chrome browser. And it comes up here, there's a little Keyword Search Everywhere tool and it automatically does a search from Chrome and you can also install it for Firefox. I tend to use it in Chrome. I like how they have all the extensions lined up here. These aren't all the extensions I have. You can actually click this and go into your more tools. I just want to show you and when you go into more tools, you can go under extensions and you can turn your different extensions on or turn them off so i have a couple in here like font face ninja that i don't use all the time so right now i just have it turned off and, and that's all you have to do is go in there and turn them on and off so i just wanted to point that out to show you that you don't have to have them all over the top of your browser some people don't like that all right so keyword tools let me show you how it works i'm going to go right to google over here and i've already typed in work from home okay right away i'm doing a google search right here i see that this is something that comes up a lot just by looking at google there are over 10 trillion results just from doing work from home and this up here the volume tells me about 110,000 searches per month now if i go over here to the right my keyword tool tells me that other searches that are related would be work from home jobs for moms, uh, real work from home jobs. These are some different searches that come up a lot. Now, if you're new and you're trying to get a uh, presence on YouTube or, or on the internet with um, search engine optimization, you probably are thinking, well, yeah, I'm gonna do part-time work from home. There's 18,000 searches per month. Well, the problem with that is it would be like being a little fish in a great big pond. You probably won't be seen. You know yourself, when you do a Google search, you tend to stay on those first three pages, if that, and you typically don't go any further. So what you wanna do is you wanna look for some phrases that are searched, but maybe not quite as much. So let's go down, how about right here? Work from home jobs, Amazon. So it's a little bit more specific. You could do a blog or a YouTube video about working from home jobs with Amazon. 320 people search for that a month. Your chances of being found are a lot higher because there's not as much competition. And that's how you start working smarter with your search engine optimization and your keyword searches. Start thinking that way. And you're kind of thinking outside the box, um, pulling people in, finding topics that they're searching for, but maybe not up here what everybody's searching for. Does that make sense? All right, so those are two different ways that you can search for keywords. All right, let's look at another one. This one here is called Keywords Explorer. This is one that you do have to pay for, and I don't recommend. It's like $82 a month. I, I'm in a free trial right now. So what I recommend you do is go in, um, pay $7 for a seven day free trial, and then export as much information as you can and then cancel your membership. And I'm canceling mine within five days because I don't want to accidentally get caught. That's what they're hoping for. But here I can do work from home. Let's do the same search. And over to the left, I can look for all keyword ideas. I can do a phrase match. I can look for questions that people ask, how to work from home, how to work from home online. And it tells you about how many people are searching per month for those different questions, okay? Um, and then you can go up here, all, the, um, all keyword ideas. I can click that. 
and then I can export it and just hit this export button and it goes right to your desktop and you can go back and dig in and look later. And that's what I recommend doing with this one. But there's a lot of keyword phrases. You've got over 4,000 of them. And when you take the time to look at these phrases and use these as um, keywords in your videos or on your blogs or on your website, you're going to be found. This is how people are found by having good keywords that people are searching for. All right, I have one more that I use for my videos. It's called VidIQ and just go in. You do have to, there's a, a free program and then there's one that you can pay for, um, I think it was like $90 a year. I paid for that one and you could upgrade if you would like. But what happens is it comes up here like a Chrome extension. So it automatically on Chrome, if I do any YouTube work, I always open it up in Chrome and all of this information pops up. So this is one I did about Facebook ads training. I was actually promoting a webinar that somebody else made. It's an affiliate, I'm an affiliate for, and I'm promoting their webinar. So I did a quick video about it and I'm leading them to that webinar. And some of these different recommended tags popped up and I went ahead and clicked them all and they all go up into my keyword tags up here. All right. And what I watch for with vidIQ is right here, um, this actionable score. I want it to get as close to 50 as I can, anywhere from 30 to 50. So as I'm adding the tags that are recommended, that score keeps going up and i would never want to close, uh, promote or publish my video until I get that score at least to 30 or more. So I can also come back after it's ran for a little while. I think this one right now has like a thousand views. I can always come back in and look for more keywords and change them around, put more in there, take some out if they're not um, doing anything. It always brings up a popular, highly ranked video as well. And you can open up this video and see what are the keywords that this person used? This person in 13 days got 16,000 views. So obviously they know what they're doing, but I could open that up, look at all the keywords that they're using and use them as well. I don't want to use every one and be exact, but I want to, you know, learn from them and use them in my video as well if it is relevant. So those are different ways you can find keywords hopefully this was helpful i do have a link for vidiq below if that's something that you're interested in i'll go ahead um like i said the free keyword tool is a chrome extension i'll go ahead and give you that link as well um just so that you don't can just uh, click it and you don't have to worry about it okay so those are two links below um go ahead and click those and start playing around with the keyword searches and it's just something you get better at as you go along but i really want you to think about when you're using keywords is don't think about what you think people are looking for. I want to know what others are looking for. It kind of reverse your thinking. I'm providing answers to questions that other people have. And that's how you make your video. That's how you make your um, blogs. You're answering questions. You're looking for what are people searching for? What do they want to know? And I'm going to have the answer. So when they do that search, they're going to find me I have those answers ready for them. And that's how search engine optimization works. Give me a thumbs up if this is helpful and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next video. I make a video every single day. So definitely subscribe and you can learn how to be an affiliate marketer master.